it's morning and it is beautiful. This is a happy place. We are in the TP community north of Sheridan, Wyoming in the Bighorns and it is the morning of day seven on the Summer of Wonder road trip to the Rockies. We'll see more horses later. There are lots of horses here, but today they are out for the day because it is the caretaker's day off. So the horses are out in the mountain for the day. Oh, what have you rolled in already? Lex is so happy to be here at the lake. It's probably 38 degrees out here. Water's gotta be chilly. I have a feeling she doesn't care. I love the wildflowers out here, and while it's getting late in the season, there are still there are still some, and they are still beautiful. More flowers this morning. So this morning as Lexi and I are out on a walk and she's really out on a run slash swim, I'm reminded of how appreciative I am of the fact that I have a friend who has a cabin in the mountains and the bighorns. <laughs> Let's start there. And I'm so grateful for her friendship and that Lexi and I get to spend several days here. But I wanted to talk about it in the larger scope of road tripping in that, especially long-term road tripping, that for me at least, and I think it's very important. I know that it is that it is imperative for me to have a place where I can drive to, even if it takes me a week or two, that it's a place where I am going, and then it is a place where I'm staying. So I'll be here for four or five days before we move on. But it's just a time to get reorganized to rest, most important. I realize it's all these re-words, right? Rest, reorganize, rejuvenate, sort of re even reimagine the next leg of my trip at some point, um, trying to figure out where I'm gonna go and what I'm gonna do. But if I don't do that, then I burn out. And that has happened to me on one occasion a few years ago, and I don't wanna do that again, because then you end up very far from home and you just feel like you're done. Even though there's all these wonderful things around you, you just feel like you're done. And that's not a feeling that I wanna have because I want to be here with my eyes wide open and just being able to enjoy every moment of what I see and what I hear, and especially out here, what I smell. If you've been out west in all these mountains of pine, you know what that smells like. It just smells like Christmas all the time. I don't want to waste a moment of that. I also don't want to miss a thing. This is my prayer this morning and every morning as I set out um, to road trip. And in, in this case, it's as I enjoy my destination. And it's from Jeremy Camp's song, Keep Me in the Moment. And I quote this in my book as well. But it's just, Lord, keep me in the moment. Help me live with my eyes wide open because I don't want to miss what you have for me. And that's how I feel every day. And I want to remind myself of that every day. And right now, what God has for me is this amazing view and a very wet, very happy dog and, and a friend in a cabin in the woods, high atop the big horns. And it's pretty great. Max is happy. She knows her way around. Oh, she found something disgusting to roll in. So cannot wait for her to come back here. That's lovely. That's definitely something nasty. I thought she was headed for the lake. Go get in the lake. Yummy. It's a pretty sweet view. down there somewhere. 
New day, new body of water. This is Lake One at Teepee. It's pretty beautiful. That's so scary. You're so brave. Good job, Lex. Good job. Okay, it's our first moose sighting. Okay, such a fantastic first day up here at Teepee. There's a moose in the background down over the hill. You can't see him very well from here. I hope you've enjoyed today with me. There's much more to come tomorrow. Please like and subscribe so that you can follow along on our daily Summer of Wonder vlog. So glad to have you along for the ride and we will see you on the road.